Warning, this video has strong language and harsh opinions. I do not give a shit if I offend people on this subject because if you've seen what I have seen about this subject, you will have the exact same opinion. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy. Home breeding. The people who do this kind of thing, I really, really, really hate. Every time someone agrees with home breeding, or wants to home breed, I just want to put their head through a fucking brick wall because I absolutely hate these people with a passion. I cannot stand these people. Now I'm going to mainly talk about dogs, but I do mean all pets, cats, dogs, whatever. In Britain, there is too much dog breeding going on. You go down to any um, RSPCA or Dogs Trust kennels where there are dogs they are all overflowing because people are too bono idle to go and get their dogs neutered or they want to make a bit of a money. I like to call these people selfish cunts or selfish retards or people I really really want to punch. This is a big problem because people get dogs and then have them for five minutes and then get rid of them. But I'm going to come on to that later on. So what I think they should do is bring out a license. So if you breed dogs, you've got to have a license to breed dogs. Because let's just face it, I can't be against breeding dogs full stop because the dog population will die down but this is a big problem because all the kennels are overflowing and people are just breeding them like flies first thing is is when these people breed them and I see them breeding them and then I turn around and say why are you breeding these dogs what is the purpose of breeding these dogs why do you want to breed dogs and they usually all they all come out with the same fucking bullshit and they uh, so they usually turn around and go well Troy we want to make a bit of money now and if we breed these dogs and sell these dogs we can make a bit of money and then I turn around and say well the problem with that is okay we all have money problems but this ain't a solution because you're going to sell these dogs and what do you think is going to happen to these dogs oh yeah they're going to go to the kennels and then no one's going to want them, so then they're going to get killed because nobody wants them. And then they turn around and go, well, Troy, we have a brilliant solution for this. What we're going to do is we're going to sell our dogs for very high prices. And when someone wants to buy our dogs, then they're really going to want to buy them because they are worth a lot of money. And if they're willing to pay a lot of money, then they will pay a lot of money for the dog and then I usually you know everyone comes out the same piece of bollocks every time someone says this to me I just want to swing for them no this is a bunch of bullshit if someone wants a dog they're going to go out and get a dog because they usually see things like Lassie or something and then they go oh, I want a dog now my dog right my mum wanted and then she got bored of it and then I took it on people if they want a dog they're going to get one and then two years down the line if it doesn't match the furniture anymore or it shits in their house and they get fed up with cleaning it after it or they get fed up with cleaning the garden every five minutes they're going to get rid of it any rate no matter how big the price is I hate these people with a fucking passion Thousands of dogs every year are being killed because selfish pricks want money. And the most common dog killed is a Staffy. You walk into any kennel, the average dog you will see is a Staffy. And I have um, Pop and R&B and Rap to blame for this. Everyone sees these, um, pro um, what is it? The, this um, genre of music and then they think to themselves oh I want a dog but they don't think of the responsibility of having a dog and then after a couple of weeks it ends up biting someone because they haven't looked after it properly or 
it shits in their house, or they get fed up with walking it, then they get rid of it. And the people who get rid of their dogs, I really can't understand. If you're going to buy a dog, that means you've got to put up with it for the rest of that dog's life. I've got a dog. Harry, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Up. Up. Look. Come up here. Come up here. Come up here. Go on. See? I got a dog. It's a lovely dog. <laughs> I'm back down. I would never get rid of my dog. Because I went and spent the time purchasing the dog. So now I've got to put up with the dog for the rest of its life. If that dog does a shit in my house because I forgot to let him out. That means I've got to pick that shit up. He doesn't usually shit in the house because he's fairly well trained. Okay, he pisses in the house every so often, but I have to clean it up. I also walk him, but he doesn't like being walked in the rain for some weird reason. Probably because I can't let him off. But yeah, I would not get rid of my dog. And people, they get rid of their dogs because they no longer match the furniture. You don't buy a dog because it's a piece of furniture. If you want a dog to match the furniture, go and get a blinking statue or something. Because that would suit you a lot more. Plus you don't have to feed it or walk it. And the, and the worst thing I've ever heard, this woman who lived near me locked her dogs in a shed, nailed it shut and left the dogs in there and they ended up eating each other. And as soon as I heard this, I, well, to be honest, this woman was lucky she never met me because I, I, I don't care if she is a woman or a bloke. She would have got a massive mouthful out of me and probably a fist flying her way. And I don't give a shit if she's a woman because as soon as a human being does something like this, woman or not, all I see them as is a monster. And her excuse was she couldn't afford to feed them and she couldn't afford to look after them. Oh yeah, but there's RSPCA and all this. Oh, and she could afford to feed herself. And she put them in there because nobody would take them on. You know what? This woman deserves to be imprisoned forever. But what she get? A couple of months in prison and then a ban from um, having pets for a couple of years. What good's that? So, hang on, you can kill a human, right? If, if she'd done this to a human, she'd be in for life. But no, she gets put in for a couple of weeks. You know what? She is how lucky she hasn't met me yet. Because when I meet her, cool, she is going to have an earful. Because people like this, I cannot stand. And this is one of the only reasons why I would hit a woman. If I see a woman kill a defensive animal like this, I will give them a nice big smacking. And I do not give a flying shit what other anyone thinks. I have no respect for people who home breed and no respect for people who get rid of their dogs because they might have a child or or because they can't afford to look after it or because it doesn't match their furniture or because it chewed up their shoes. Or whatever because there ain't such thing as a bad dog it's called bad owner anyway that's all I have to say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed